Um, most high Christ bless. Welcome to my channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I'm not going to be here long. I'm just going to um tell you what how I feel when I read the Bible. I'm just going to be on here just for a few minutes just to tell you how I feel when I read the Bible. Um, Now, I always read the Bible even many, many years ago, many years ago, you know, because I was you know, going to church every Sunday, Christianity, whatever. But, you know, when I was reading, I had like an understanding, you know, many of those who read the Bible, we can read the Bible from front to back, but with no knowledge. We can read the Bible from front to back, but with no understanding. So, but when the Most High woke me up and I started living this truth, meaning the law, statute, and commandments, living by the law, statute, and commandments, the Bible was read differently. Now, those that practice Christianity, they say that they read the Bible. But my thing is, do you have understanding? Because if you had understanding, you would know that we're supposed to live by the law, statute, commandments. But that's another story. But um, <clears throat> how I feel when I read the Bible? I feel joyful, hopeful. I feel at peace. Again, joyful, hopeful. I feel at peace. I feel loved. Also, I get tearful when I read the Bible because when I first found out who I was, and the most I like the most, I love me so much to wake me up. All praise belongs to Him, and um, so that's why I get so tearful and I get joyful. And happy, it's, it's tears of joy, you know. So. Those are the things. That's how I feel when I read the Bible. But let me read a few scriptures because also I may be jumping on subjects. But like I said, I'm just going to be on here probably another two or three minutes. I'm just going to read a few scriptures. And um, because when I used to read the Bible, I used to, before I came into the truth, I used to uh, tell the most high. Like when I read certain scriptures in Proverbs. Now, there's a lot of scriptures I can tell you about, but I'm not here to teach. I'm just here to tell you what. I used to tell the Most High or say to the Most High, I talk to the Most High, I pray to the Most High when I read certain scriptures. So um, the first scripture is um, <clears throat> it's Proverbs 21, 9. It's, it's better to dwell in a corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. So it's better to dwell on the corner of a housetop then in a house with a, a wide house, a big house with a brawling woman, a woman who wants to fight all the time, a woman just quarrel, rough, noisy, just want to fight, argumentative, you know, you know, some men don't want that. Now, they like some men like that, but you won't find a man that's living by the law, statute, commandment, that's truly living by the law, statute, commandment, want a woman like that. So that scripture right there. Way before I came into the truth, I used to ask the Most High Heavenly Father. I do not. I used to tell Him, I do not want to be like that Heavenly Father. You know, if anything's not like You, that's even than me. Take it out, destroy it, Heavenly Father. I don't want to be like that. I wasn't like that, but I just didn't want to be like that just by reading it because I know that's not good. And another scripture is uh, Proverbs twenty-seven, fifteen. A continual dropping in a very rainy day. And a contentious woman are like. You know how hard rain fall, how constantly the rain fall. <laughs> a contentious woman, they are like. And so I'm like, Heavenly Father, I do not want to be like that. You know, take that out of me, please. If it's not, if, if anything that's not like you, Heavenly Father, take it out. You know, I wasn't like that, but still, I just didn't want to be like that. You know, so that was another scripture. Another scripture is Proverbs 9 and 13. Oh, shoot, my phone ringing. <laughs> Hold on for a minute. All right. I am back. Sorry. I don't know why I have a home phone. 
I don't use it. I don't nobody have it. But anyways, but these scammers, whatever, I never answer. Okay, let me get back on the subject. So Proverbs 9 and 13, a foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. She is clamorous. She is loud and just argumentative and she knoweth nothing. And I used to say, Heavenly Father, I really don't understand that, but it doesn't sound good. I don't want to be like that, Heavenly Father. If that's within me, Heavenly Father, take it. I, I don't want to be that type of woman. You know, I used to say those prayers all the time before, excuse me, before I came into truth, way before I came into the truth. You know, so that's another scripture. And the last scripture, Proverbs 6, 16 through 19, it said, These 16 doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. He hates a proud look. I didn't know what that meant at first. <laughs> I did not know what a proud look was. No, I did not understand it, what it was. I do now, but I didn't. So um, I did not know when I was in Christianity. I did not know what it meant. I mean, but <clears throat> I said, Heavenly Father, I just know it's not a good thing. And it's an abomination and the Lord hates it. So I was praying that prayer. Heavenly Father, don't, I don't want to be like this, Heavenly Father. If. If I have a proud look, Heavenly Father, deliver me from that. I don't want to be like that, you know, then a lying tongue. That lying tongue, I'm going to tell you now. Some of us have lied and probably still do and don't even know that we lie. For example, I'm going to give you like two examples. If you tell somebody um, you want to pick them up, if you tell somebody, uh, I pick you up at 5 o'clock, but it's 6 o'clock, you know you just lied, right? If you want to, if you are going to be late picking up somebody, just let them know, and just just don't have them waiting. So yes, you have lied. I've said that before. You know, I'll say, well, I I call you, uh, in five minutes, but five minutes have passed. Uh, it's like an hour. I've lied when I said that. Because sometimes time flies and we forget. But just so we got to be mindful and be careful what we tell somebody. Just don't say, I call you back in five minutes or 10 minutes. You know, just say, I call you back in a little while or something like that. Because we lie not even knowing it. Okay? So that lying tongue, then hands that shed innocent blood. Mm. That's self-explanatory. A heart that divides wicked imagination. Whew. You know, when people go, you know, planning stuff on you, scheming and, uh, you know, just doing wickedness stuff against you, just, that's, mm -mm. and I, I never been that type, those type of things, but still, I will pray, Heavenly Father, I don't want to be like that. You know, I do not want to be like that at all. Then it say the feet that be swift and running to mischief somebody. You know, somebody that, you know, want to mock you or laugh at you, causing trouble, harming you, or, you know, just doing stuff to you on purpose. Yes. It has, people have did it to me. That's another story. People have did it to me. You know, sadly, you know, it, it can be your family. It can be your loved ones. Those you love the most can hate you the worst. You know that? Um, okay, and then the last uh, scripture is is the Proverbs 6 and 19. It says, A false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Okay. Ooh, I've seen this so, so many times. You know, you going back and forth telling stuff and just making up stuff or, you know, so one person can turn against the other person. And then all of a sudden you have uh, uh, the whole entire people, group of people, not the whole world people, a group of people, you know, fighting against each other because of one person, because of you, you, that one person. Because you don't like somebody, you want to discord among everybody else. You want everybody else to turn against each other because 
you feel a certain type of way, something within you. Somebody's like that that's listening to this. Or you know somebody that's like that. You know, you know somebody that likes to, uh, you know, bring conflict, hostility among, you know, your brethren and, you know, just be hostile. And I mean, I can go on and on. But that that verse, Proverbs 6, 16 through 19, I used to like, Heavenly Father, I do not want to be like that, Heavenly Father. Um, it, it, it's all an abomination. It's all an abomination. So um, just remember, we have to be mindful. And whatever you don't want to be like, and you know it's wrong, ask the Most High to deliver you. Ask Him to take that away. Ask them to take that from you. Even if, you, it, even if you're not like that, ask him, uh, let him know you don't want to be like that. Repent first of all and turn from your wicked ways, okay? And then just pray, talk to the Most High, keep the law, statute, commandments, and, and everything else will fall in place the way it should be. So I hope this short video made sense and i hope you share this video um it's nothing outstanding but i hope i touch somebody and you know put it down in the comment and tell me when you read the bible how do you feel when you read the bible and what scriptures that you have read and you say oh i want to be like this i don't want to be like that you know um and i know there's somebody out there like that um, I, like I said, I can go through so many scriptures, but I just wanted to do a little short video. So I hope you like this video and I hope you all have a blessed, safe day. Most high Christ bless. Shalom.